I'm Janet. Welcome to this writing lesson. Today we are going to learn how to write recipes. Now, a recipe gives specific instructions on how a certain meal or snack is prepared. In other words, a recipe is a set of instructions that guides or instructs one on how to prepare a certain meal. And a recipe must have clear instructions on the ingredients to be used, the quantity of ingredients to be used, the method of cooking, the way of serving, the number of people to be served. Now, when writing a recipe, you have to include, include your topic. For instance, if you're preparing uh, eggs for four, that will be your topic, eggs for four, then you will write the list of ingredients. Afterwards, you're going to write the method. You're going to number them as you write them. Let's begin writing a sample recipe. We write our topic, fried liver for two, then our ingredients will be 250 grams beef liver, one green chili, which will be chopped, one teaspoon full of ginger, crushed, one onion, sliced or diced, one big tomato, chopped, one tablespoon, vegetable oil, One teaspoon tomato puree and salt to taste. We go to our method. Our first step cut the liver. into small pieces and fry it in the oil. Step two, add a little chili and ginger. Step three, stir the mixture well until the meat juices are released and the meat is almost cooked. Step four. Add the onions, tomatoes, and the puree. That is the tomato puree. Step five. Turn the fire down. 
to a slow simmer so as not to burn the puree. Step six. Let it simmer. for another five minutes. And then turn off the eight. And lastly, serve the meal of the liver with ugali, rice, or mashed potatoes. That is our recipe. You'll notice that it is so easy to write a recipe in an, in an exam situation. Mostly it will give you like 10 marks, and these are free marks just uh, using your mind being creative and writing legibly make sure you are legible make sure that your grammar is correct while writing this for you to get those marks thank you for watching this lesson on writing i hope to see you in the next one see you then